Uh, working here at Hancock Lumber has a lot of benefits. Um, there's paid vacation and health benefits and flexibility, which is a really, really important one for me. And our product reaches the world. We're, we're a global, international company. The truck I drive now is uh, just over a year old and it's uh, almost a half a million dollar vehicle, which is a huge responsibility, and I actually got to help design it. Ten years ago, I was looking for a summer job, and I decided to apply here at Hancock Lumber because my dad works here as well, and they're real busy during the summer, and uh, I ended up really liking it here a lot. Working here in the retail um, side of things at the, at the counter, working with customers, um, you really need to have a lot of customer service skills, um, phone skills, computer skills, um, money skills when the computer's not working. You really need to know how to do change and knowledge around building materials. So oftentimes customers will come in and they don't always necessarily know the exact uh, material that they need for their job and uh, we really take pride in making sure they leave here with what they need and only what they need. I enjoy working here at the desk, being in a smaller setting, uh, being able to actually take the time and, and talk with your customers and learn a little bit more about their project that they're doing uh, and oftentimes I find that you can help them quite a bit figuring out you know, ways to save them money, uh, making sure that they get the, the appropriate material for the job that they're doing. And there's always the occasion where we have uh, a customer who has had a bad experience or just having a bad day and it's really important to be able to find a way to communicate with them to let them know that you really want to help solve the problem. The hiring process is you go for a fitness test which just um, make sure that you're able to uh, lift heavy things and lift properly because we do a lot of, of moving around of material which can oftentimes be heavy. Because my family um, wasn't well off growing up, the thought of going to college wasn't something that I thought was possible for me and it was definitely challenging towards the end of my high school years as all of my peers were going off to college and I knew that my option was to get a job. So in my life, um, some of my mentors have been my bosses for my high school job. They were awesome. They didn't have children of their own and they really enjoyed guiding me and helping me make good choices. They were very helpful in some of the decisions I've made as an adult. This place is very important um, to me because they have taken very good care of us. Uh, my daughter at 10 months old was diagnosed with cancer and I had to step away for several months and my job here was always safe and the company was very caring and supportive during that whole time for us. So I'm getting an opportunity to um, help coach my youngest daughter's soccer team and uh, the work here has been very flexible with letting me take time off so that I can do that. Um, if they're willing to bend, I'm willing to bend, which is really nice. Um, today I'm the uh, Vice President of Sales uh, for the Sawmill Division for Hancock Lumber. Uh, I just didn't walk into that job. Um, when I was hired uh, by Matt, it was pretty clear that he wanted someone to learn the business inside and out. So I started piling boards and I learned how logs were broken down into lumber. I learned how, what yield means. I learned what drying lumber means. I learned what planing lumber means and what customers' expectations are of our products. When I graduated uh, University of Maine at, at Orno, um, Matt Hancock had contacted me because uh, he wanted me to come in for an interview. And I asked Matt how he got my name and um, he had talked to Dr. Bob Rice, professor and my advisor in college. And so we have a very, it was a very small group of people who were in that wood science and technology concentration. So he prided himself on trying to help us students getting ready to go in the real world to get us into interviews and jobs uh, to be successful. I love sports um, and I was a three sport person all through high school and uh, it really motivated me. And, um, you know, uh, I, I knew at an early age that uh, the real world was coming and I felt that high school 
uh, was a place to, uh, where I um, could get further my skills as best I could and, uh, and be ready for the real world when it happened. In the sawmill, we have uh, way more technology than we used to. We have computers, uh, we have uh, optimized scanners, we have lasers, and the people that run those machines are highly skilled. Our most critical asset is our people. They're the ones that put the Hancock Lumber stamp on our product and make every board count. When I was in college, I uh, developed a, um, uh, a disease called Crohn's disease. And um, it was really, uh, we all fight adversity at some point in time at different levels, but for me, this was a, a life changing adversity. I did miss three weeks of school, but I, I passed all my courses for that semester, and I, that's just from true grit and determination and saying, you know what, um, there's a lot of people that have some things go wrong in their lives, and um, I just didn't quit. By far, my biggest mentor in my life was my father. Um, he taught me many life lessons, even though he didn't know he was teaching me, I was listening. He just expected me to be a good person and work hard because nothing comes for free. And it helps that uh, you know him and I were really competitive. So whenever we were playing basketball, whatever was doing, it could be uh, mowing the lawn, who can, who can mow the straightest line. We were very competitive. Here at Hancock Lumber, I drive the boom truck. I start my day here at six in the morning till 4.30 four days a week, which I actually have Fridays off, which I really like. I don't know who wouldn't. <laughs> the truck I drive now is uh, just over a year old, and it's uh, almost a half a million dollar vehicle, which is a huge responsibility, and I actually got to help design it. Uh, everything is customized, everything from the location of the toolboxes to the crane. I got to design it with our safety director, Greg, and uh, with his experience in safety and my experience with driving and operating, we got together and designed that and I think we hit the nail on the head. I come in and do my safety checks on the truck, strap the load down, and if something else needs to be loaded, I can hop on a forklift and complete loading it. And we pull the truck up front, to get checked and collect all the hardware and off we go. Uh, I love school, um, love going there to socialize and hang out with friends and stuff and, and uh, didn't really like doing the actual school work but I struggled through that but I, uh, one thing I really excelled at was uh, went to uh, Maine Vocational Region 10 for construction technology which I really liked to do because I was more hands on than I was a bookworm. In school I really struggled with math. Um, in seventh grade, we had a teacher that if someone didn't understand the equation, he'd stop it right there and totally teach it in a different way, which I really needed. When I was little, I had no idea what I wanted to do professionally and after school and all that. But um, I remember in sixth grade, went to space camp in uh, Alabama. And for some reason, when I get into high school, into the guidance office to set up your core classes and stuff. They asked me what I wanted to do and I just thought up uh, I wanted to be an aeronautical engineer. Little did I know the core classes you had to have for that for math was, did not fit me. <laughs> I started here when I was still in high school. They had me in the basement uh, stocking shelves and cleaning bathrooms. And shortly after that I graduated high school and stayed here and they had me outside building loads and one day I saw one of the trucks going by and I was like, why can I do that? I love to drive. Uh, even when I was a little kid, probably 10 or 12 years old, I get to learn how to drive on a, my neighbor's hay truck and uh, makes it the perfect job for me. I grew up in Maine. I uh, love being here. See a lot of people I know every day, and it's real comforting. Living in the lakes region in Casco, we have a lot of things around us. We have the lakes, we have Portland 40 minutes away, we have the mountains all around us, an hour to the western mountains, have the ocean nearby, 
And for me, that's just a lot of options to do and, um, and live and feel like you're still in nature. I love living here in Maine for all the four seasons. I love the change of the seasons. I love all of them. I enjoy experiencing all the seasons with my children, learning to swim and skate and ski and, sle and sled. All of those things are, are wonderful here in the state of Maine. I feel a strong connection to Maine. Um, working for a Maine family business makes me really proud.